A group of Sydney women have been getting their hands dirty to help protect local wildlife. The retirees are building floating refuges for birds and turtles. Tying up loose ends before these artistic islands set sail. I would have never in a million years thought that I would be helping to make a, a pontoon for a swan. <laughs> Over the past few months, these women have been busy weaving and welding. It's nice to be doing something that actually makes a difference. Right? With a grant from New South Wales Ports, they've created floating nesting habitats for local wildlife. But at the moment, we seem to only have one black swan wandering around, so, so we're hoping that um, they migrate back here when the breeding season hits so they've got somewhere safe. They've also been designed with the local turtle population in mind. When they come out to nest, they can hit our roads and get squished by cars or foxes can actually impact them. And this will give them a refuge where they are safe from predators, safe from roads. The project was brought to life by the Fix-It Sisters, a group of retired women who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. A couple of the girls said there's no way that these all float, but they do. It's part of a broader effort to rejuvenate the green space just a few kilometres from Sydney's CBD. Over time, it's hoped these floating habitat havens will attract more swans, turtles and native wildlife back into the waterways here at Port Botany. Through projects like this one, the Fix-It Sisters are fostering healthy connections both in the water and back on dry land. It just stimulates your imagination and really does something for the community. It's great. And it looks like the locals are already enjoying their fancy new digs. Courtney Barrett-Peters, ABC News, Sydney.